Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Soul Food Books. Let's give another round of applause for the drummers who held a space drumming for the last hour. Drum circle that's going around the globe tonight. That's what we were a part of. For an hour, for this last hour, the consciousness held on the globe was at a certain tempo tonight. Raising the consciousness, and we're doing it from our corner of the neighborhood right here. So it's a pleasure to have you here tonight. Lots of stuff in store for you tonight. I'm just going to play one song and throw it out to you, and then introduce it a couple more artists here tonight. Mr. Trouble, come walking this way. The year gone by feels like one long day. But I'm alive. And I'm feeling all right. Hard road at a heartbreak city. Built a roadside carnival, a hurt and self pity. It was all wrong. Well, now I'm moving on. There ain't no church bells ringing. No, there ain't no flags on. It's just me and you and the faith we're bringing into the real world, into the real world. I built a shrine in my heart that wasn't ready to see. Made out of fool's gold, oh, in memories and the tears they cried. Now, and now, over the rise, there ain't no church bells ringing. the real world oh into the real world well tonight well, I just want to shout I feel my soul waist deep and sinking into this black river of doubt well, I just want to and walk along the riverside And when the morning comes No, I don't want to hide I'll stand right by your side With my arms open wide Six-inch valley through the middle of my soul. And 
night and wake up with the sheets soaking when a freight train running through the middle of my head. Only you can cool my desire. Thank you very much. My name is Clint. On behalf of the staff here, we want to definitely welcome everybody on a good old-fashioned rainy Friday night. This is what we do best in our neighborhood here. And we got this tradition of drinking the finest coffee and listening to the finest artists and watching the wall, which ever changes. And these next two weeks are dedicated to this artist here. Dina Watson is her name. And... Uh, She's got a story to tell tonight. So we have this tradition of bringing up the artist to tell the story of what kind of art and why it's even up on our wall. As you can tell, our walls are surrounded with things that we want you to see. It's, the, it's an appropriate way of waking up. And it's expressed through art and it's expressed through song. After Dina, we'll have uh, one of the finest Seattle troubadours ever lived, Mr. Jim Page, take to our stage and rattle off song after song tonight, so stick around for that, too. But right now, let's bring up Miss Dina Watson to the stage. And thanks for uh, taking my special request to play that song. So, <laughs> so hello, and thank you so much for coming. Um, so also, thank you Soul Foods just in general for creating this um, space where artists and musicians of all kinds and all sorts of people can just come here and have a common, a common ground. Um, this place is really an excellent example of a, a business investing in the community that it's open in. And uh, so thank you. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time, welcome. <laughs> Um, I really recommend that you try the iced chai with jasmine. It's, <laughs> my, it's my favorite. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, so yeah, speaking of soul foods being a place where artists are welcome and all sorts of messages and individuals are able to be here and be expressed, um, I'm excited to be a part of this showcase this evening with my artwork on the walls. Um, this is the first time that I've ever showed my art, shown my art publicly, um, and uh, so it's a really big step for me personally. Um, but the main point that has brought me here is not myself or to promote um, my own artwork for the sake of promoting myself, <laughs> um, but this art has a purpose that I wholeheartedly believe in, um, which is Central Asia Institute. Now, I'm not sure how many of you here are aware of Central Asia Institute or CAI, but perhaps you've heard of the book um, Three Cups of Tea or Stones into Schools. Um, these books were written by Greg Mortensen, and he is the founder of Central Asia Institute. Um, what CAI does is build schools in Pakistan and Afghanistan in rural areas. Um, very poverty-stricken areas where uh, access to edu education is virtually um, impossible, so especially for girls. And so their focus really is to educate individuals of communities so that they can be an investment in those local populations. So um, I'm not sure, I'm not an official spokesperson of Central Asia Institute. Um, I'm just, just like you, but I, I have come across this organization and go and uh, said, wow, you know, what they do is very special. So um, I don't know how long they've been uh, active for, but I know that it's at least maybe about 10 years or more, um, but I know it's long enough that people have uh, received education through Central Asia Institute and have graduated from those programs and are now actively participating in their communities as, um, as medical staff, nurses, midwives. Um, and one of the pictures up here is of one of those mid midwives, um, the one of the woman holding an infant. Um, 
so it's not a mother and a child, but that that's a midwife, and she, her name is Jahan, Jahan Ali, and uh, so she's actually a graduate of Central Asia Institute's programs, and she's an example of someone who's gone back to the community and has participated in a valuable way. So, so yeah, um, Central Asia Institute, really cool. If you don't know much about it, <laughs> I really encourage you to uh, check out the website. Uh, or you know, read one of the books. I didn't read the book. I, I uh, got an audio, which I think is the same thing. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, I read Three Cups of Tea, and it's excellent. And I've heard that maybe it's maybe somebody else here has heard, but I think that it's now a required read for um, troops in Afghanistan. So um, you can't totally quote me on that. I can't back that up. I've just heard it through the rumors. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, another way to find out more about Central Asia Institute is to pick up one of these pamphlets, um, one of the magazines. So, Vanna. Thanks. So, um, <laughs> but uh, this is really what started me on this kick of doing some artwork for this cause. Um, so back in January, I, I uh, was at a local bookstore, uh, McDonald's Book Exchange, which some of you may have heard of, um, and uh, it's pretty pretty nearby. And I looked down when I was in the checkout, and I saw this, and I was like, "Hey, how much?" Well, it was free, so I thought, "Okay, I can afford that." Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I took it home, and as I was flipping through there, I was I was you know reading some of the things and and you know looking at the pictures and thought, "Wow, some of these pictures are just really cool." And then. Uh, you know, I, I kept catching myself thinking that, like, oh, that's a cool picture. Oh, that's really cool. And then when I came to this one, like, that really clenched it for me. I thought to myself, man, somebody really should make these into oil paintings. <laughs> really. Yeah, well, anyway, I got to go somewhere. And then it hit me. What are the odds that anybody else is going to take a look at this magazine and think the exact same thing and say, hey, why don't I do that? <laughs> so... So inspiration spoke to me all at once and said to me, Dina, why don't you do that? And what you can do is contact the photographer and Central Asia Institute and request permission to reproduce these uh, in your own medium. And if you feel confident in the product, then talk to Soul Food Books, which is a place that you love anyway, and see if they wouldn't mind putting it up on display for sale and make those net proceeds go to Central Asia Institute. So all at once it was like, bam, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> so um, so yeah, I went out, I bought a canvas and said, okay, I'll try my hand at this. And I have painted before, although I've never painted portraits. Um, so I've sketched a lot, uh, but really these portraits for me are like, whoa, I could do that. Every time I was working on something, you know, I'd say, okay, that looks cool. <laughs> so, um, but I know that I feel satisfied with how they've turned out. So they are now here for your viewing pleasure. And if you're moved to purchase any of them, then please know that your uh, uh, your money is going into an investment in humanity. It's going to a really great cause. Um, and then if you look at the prices and you go, "Gee, that's really cool," but I can't afford that. Or if you say, "Yeah, that's really cool," but where would I put that? That's okay too. Um, if you feel led, there's also a donation box available. So I encourage anyone to um, definitely take a look. It's it's free to look. So enjoy what you see. So thank you very much. They're absolutely beautiful, and that's the whole thing. The reason why you do something is the story behind it. And as our globe gets so easy to Google or online anything, the need for a real place where real people can come together and say, hey, this is what I do, and, and I want to try to help one part of the world, um, this is a place for that. And so thank you very much for being part of this. Another round of applause for our artists here. Very daring move, too, to put it up on the wall. Good job. A daring move is to also put it on the stage, and you said something about inspiration came to you all at once. And uh, when I listen to this next performer, that all at once moment lasts the entire damn song. Um, 
Uh, Jim Page to the stage, please. Jim Page. Jim Page is a, a local troubadour who has used his sword slash guitar and his lyrics, which he knows a pen is mightier than the sword, to uh, put together songs that continue to awaken us, continue to um, seize the moment and speak the truth about the moment of now. And um, so with that, no further ado, please welcome Mr. Jim Page to the stage. We're not exactly ready, are we? We're close, though. There's no sense in being completely ready, I always say. Because then there's no chance for enlargement. And uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That and then let's see. Are we together? Is there an XLR I can use for this uh, thing there? Right behind me. Is there? Is there? Ah. Lucky number five. I won't unnecessarily, but I'll use this. Anybody had a chance to bring me up another copy? I will not bring you up. Just a copy. I'm not saying. Single trigger. Or just one. Just this one. Just this one. <laughs> okay, this one's here. Oh yeah, no problem. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, I love this place. Oh, there's those booklets right there. I want one of those. Don't get rid of all of them, please. Uh, just take me a second here. Get all the parts organized. Ooh, that's there, isn't it? So I'm thinking out loud here that I might have a little too much guitar, in my, at least in the monitor. How about in the room? Is that too much guitar out there? It seems like a little bit loud to me. That's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a special guest in the room that may or may not be coming up later on. We'll see how that works. 
special mystery guest. This town is called, this <laughs> town, this song is called Menung. And Menung is a town in Taiwan. It's in what they call the Valley of the Butterfly. And I was lucky enough to play a, a music festival there. And I wanted to write a song that when I left Menung, every time I played that song, I would go back there in my head because it was such a beautiful place. So this song is a collection of little pictures. In Menong, in the valley of the butterfly, time doesn't go very fast. Things just seem to last. In Menong, I saw a butterfly dance like a butterfly does. It made me think about how clumsy I was. In Menong, I saw a man on a bicycle balancing a load of wood. His balance was that good. In Menong, I saw a family of five on a motor scooter going out for a drive. In Menong, in Menong. And it's a big around the world. Yes, it is. All around the world. It's a big around the world. Yes, it is. All around the world. In Menong. In Menong. There was a temple on the hillside. I prayed to the Buddha for the flower to open up wide. In Menong, I drank the good strong ginger tea, and it agreed with me. In Menong, everything grew tomato and the pepper and the beetle nut too. In Menong, I ate the green grass, the fish and the squid. And everybody else did too in Menong. In Menong. And it's a big around world. Yes, it is all around the world. It's a big around world. Yes, it is all around the world. Yeah. In Menong, there was a melon so sweet and juicy on my sweater. And something like an apple, only better. In Menong, the sun flew by on a butterfly breeze. A ricochet wing way up in the trees. In Menong, my spirit got lighter and my head got clear. I thought to myself, I'm going to stay right here in Menong. In Menong. And it's a big around world. Yes, it is. All around the world. It's a big around world. Yes, it is. All around the world. In Menong. All around the circle, eternity flows. But after a while, you got to go, I suppose. In Menong, everybody's got a home, and I got mine. Don't say goodbye. Say, see you next time, in Menong. In Menong. And it's a big around world. Yes, it is all around the world. It's a big around world. Yes, it is all around the world. It's a big around world. Yes, it is all around the world. It's a big around world. Yes, it is all around the world.
Hey, thank you. I took a bus to Broadway to see the streetlights shine. The rustle of the windy breeze and the shadows in my mind. The feeling like a stranger in my own hometown. I nodded up my collar and I, I walked it around. Oh, stranger, can't you see there's a stranger in me? Oh, open up the door. do be a stranger anymore. Oh, stranger, can't you see there's a stranger in me? Open up the door. Don't be a stranger anymore. Now, lately I've been thinking about the holes inside of me. And what it takes to fill them up and keep them company. Everybody needs to know the difference it can make. But such a stubborn disposition like mine is a hard one to break. Oh, stranger, can't you see there's a stranger in me? Oh, open up the door. Don't be a stranger anymore. Oh, stranger, can't you see there's a stranger in me? Oh, open up the door. Don't be a stranger anymore. Last time I saw your face, you were turning it away. My mouth was empty, and there was nothing I could say. With you away in your world, and me away in mine. I, we could have crossed it over, but we never took the time. Oh, stranger, can't you see there's a stranger in me? Oh, open up the door. To be a stranger anymore. Oh, stranger, can't you see there's a stranger in me? Oh, open up the door. To be a stranger anymore. Yeah. Standing at the crossroads, whichever way you go, somebody will be waiting, maybe somebody you should know. Everybody is a stranger here, we are wrapped in our disguise, reflecting faces from the mirror of our eyes. Oh, stranger, can't you see there's a stranger in me? Oh, open up the door, do be a stranger anymore. Oh, stranger, can't you see there's a stranger in me? Oh, open up the door. Don't be a stranger Thank you. Oh, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do.
come gather around me, hear my sad story. I know you think you've heard someone sing it before me, but it's an old song. I had to change it. Times ain't what they used to be. As I went walking that super highway below the gray haze and so did Skyway. I was arrested for hitchhiking on the freeway. They said it don't belong to me. No, it ain't my land and it ain't your land. Could be a rich land, but it's a poor land because of the few that hold it in their tight grip hands so that it don't belong to you or me. When I was younger and in my schooling, I learned and followed by all the rulings. I never dreamed that they were only fooling. How could my teachers lie to me? But as time passed and I grew older and the world around me got a little colder, well, then a voice came calling at my shoulder, said it don't belong to you or me. <laughs> no, it ain't my land, and it ain't your land. Could be a rich land, but it's a poor land. Cause of the few that hold it in their tight grip hands so that it don't belong to you or me. From the boardrooms of corporations to the back roads of desperate situations, it's a confused and disunited nation, all the way from sea to shining sea. From the urban war zones of the busted streetlights to the toxic wastelands of Nevada test sites, from the open strip mines to the clear cut forests. Oh, it's a sad sight to see. I see the downsides, I see the layoffs, the corporate welfare, politicians, payoffs. I see the bread lines that never make the headlines, cause they're not so entertaining on TV. When they can reduce you through just a number, when they can knock you down and they can plow you under, and when the only thing that matters is the dollar, then you know it don't belong to you or me. No, it ain't my land, and it ain't your land. Could be a rich land, but it's a poor land. Cause of the few that hold it in their tight grip hands so that it don't belong to you or me. Now there was a time when this song was greater, but that was then, and this is later. And there's a hole in my heart that's like a crater. And they say it's gonna be the death of me. So let's take this song back, let's take this country, take back our future, it's our duty. Let's stand up tall so that everyone can see, then this land will belong to you and me. And it will be your land, and it will be my land, from California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land will belong to you and me. Thank you. I'm going to put my little hat on the stage here. This is my, uh, this is to, you know, just kind of a public sub, sub, uh, supplemental hat for the, uh, the stipend which we are paid to perform here. You know, it's just a little bit, and so every little bit helps, so that's out there. If you like what I'm doing, and you'd like to see me be able to eat and get gas money to come back again, then that's the envelope right there. 
The song was written by a buddy of mine. I got a bunch of CDs here, and this is on the latest one. written by Jim Hind, and it's called Frank, Dennis, and Me. Jim was a, a Vietnam veteran, Navy veteran, and uh, so this is his, his song and his story. I sing it, but it's his. Well, I was 18 and change when the telephone rang, calling me to report to the sea. Vietnam War raged and every front page of the country. So I sailed to the war of a faraway shore with boys no wiser than I, too young to vote, hoping too young to die. Serving time for the crime of being born American male. Where sons become brothers in arms or brothers in jail. Well, perhaps it was love or self-prescribed drugs or the limbo of lost out at sea. Sailing that line between reason and rhyme, Frank. Dennis and me. Oh, I recall the resorts and all the opium ports, but truth shines later in life. For the plight of the pawn, it pales in the light of the king. How convenient is the God who would spare not the rod and send his only child to die when in the hands of a power intent on only saving a life. I turned 21 years old coming home from the South China Sea slapping paint on the rust of the sinking American dream. And did the home fires burn for the hero's return? Or was the red carpet rolled to the sea? Where was the parade when democracy was saved by Frank, Dennis, and me? Now I can see in my son where he'd a march to the gun, how his soul would wither and die. I know how that goes, far too long it's been happening to mine. May the damage done me by the powers that be never be done unto mine. And may the criminals and foes be exposed by history and time. For Dennis and I swore that the Vietnam War will have ended At the moment when honor prevails with justice demanding 
And as the name's on the wall of the Washington Mall, await the dead to return from the sea. And those veterans still dying a day at a time with Frank, Dennis, and me. For Dennis and I swore that the Vietnam War will have ended At the moment when honor prevails with justice demanding And as the name's on the wall of the Washington Mall Await the dead to return from the sea Those veterans still dying a day at a time With Frank, Dennis and me Thank you. There's something happening that don't seem right. There's people on the sidewalk are talking that night. You can't quite tell if they're talking about you, but you got a funny feeling that it might be true, and you can't make it go away. It's gaining on you every day. It's only natural anyway, and you can't make it go away. You can cover your eyes, you can bury your head, you can duck inside and hide in your hot water bed. Turn up the radio as loud as it'll go, you can go to the go-go or duck inside a disco, but you can't make it go away. It's gaining on you every day, it's only natural anyway, and you can't make it go away. You can vibrate and meditate, evacuate your brain. You can tune into TV till your eyes go lame. You can grab on the guard, you can lock him in your pocket. You can even stick your fingers in the light bulb socket, but you can't make it go away. It's getting on you every day. It's only natural anyway, and you can't make it go away. Where you can laugh us off with a wave of your hand. You can look down upon us from where you stand. Invent statistics to insult and degrade. Make us illegal. You can lock us in the stockade, but you can't make us go away. We're gaining on you every day. It's only natural anyway, and you can't make it go away. Well, I can show you a dog, you can call it a cat. You can do anything you want like that. You can hammer your head in a solid brick wall and still maintain that it isn't there at all, but you can't make it go away. It's keening on you every day. It's only natural anyway, and you can't make it go away. Thank you. Yeah. Does it sound okay out there? Is the sound good out there? Does it need more of anything or less of something? Or a little more voice? It could use a little more voice. I could use a little more voice, but whoever's running in the sound in the sound control room, I will sing more into the. Katie's saying it's okay. It's okay. 
Yeah, it's okay. As long as I sing into it more. Yeah, I just got to listen to what I'm doing. You know, if you put more in there now, I'll ruin it. You know, I'll just, I'll just pay more attention to what I'm doing. There. This is a song off of the new CD. It's called Tent City. The CD is called Ghost Bikes, and the song is called Tent City. Tent City was written specifically about Nicholsville, which keeps moving around over there in Seattle country. Uh, rumor has it, rumors, you know what rumors are like. Rumor has it that there's going to get a permanent place to be. But then, you know, there have been millions of rumors, so who knows. But it, it was named after Greg Nichols, who was the... Uh, the erstwhile mayor of Seattle. Greg didn't take too kindly over that, and he was always calling the authorities to move it along. So I went out there for a couple of days, winter before last, and it was really cold, and everybody was hovered around oil drums that had fires in them there when it was in the university district. And I talked to a bunch of people and saw how they did things, and I was impressed. I was impressed. It's very well organized. Nicholsville has a lot more rules and regulations than your average neighborhood, let me tell you. So I wrote this little song, it's called Tent City. Yeah. Too cold for rainbows. Too cold for sun, too cold for downpours, but we gonna get one. You better run for cover, rally around that flag. Ain't got a raincoat, <laughs> I got a plastic bag. Come sit down by the fire, it'll do some good. We're gonna keep it going long as we got firewood. Too cold to sit down, too cold to stand. Too cold to say hello? Well, I can shake your hand. This is where we live now. So come on in. Long as you ain't looking for trouble. You're welcome, friend. Come sit down by the fire. Pull a sleeping bag over. Batten it down. Try to keep it level so you don't roll out on the ground. Living in America. Intense city. Living in America. City. Living in America, intense city. Living in America, intense city. Too cold to be living in tents. Too cold to camp. Try to stay dry. Everything gets damp. Too cold to be living outside. Yeah, you can tell that to the cops. You got no other place to go. And the weather won't stop. Take a letter to the mayor. Deliver it for me. Tell him it all I can see him down here. Keeping good company. Living in America. Intense city. Living in America. Intense city. Living in America. City, that's right. Living in America, intensity. Yeah, it's too cold, just too cold. But what you gonna do? You gotta live somewhere, and you know it's true. I can't pay the mortgage, I can't afford the rent. After food and bus fare, my money's just about all spent. Take a message to the man. Whisper it in his ear. Tell him until we see some changes, we're gonna stay right here. Living in America, 
In Density, Sacramento, living in America. In Density, Portland, living in America. In Density, Redmond, probably America. In Density. Thank you. Wake up, Mama. Don't you sleep so hard? Wake up, Mama. Don't you sleep so hard? Don't you hear these blues walking all over your yard? I got these blues. I'm not satisfied I got these blues all right I'm not satisfied Well that's the reason why I stole away and I cried Blues grabbed me at midnight Wouldn't turn me loose till day Grab me at midnight Wouldn't turn me loose till day I didn't have nobody To drive these blues away Big star falling, mom ain't long before day. Big star falling, ain't long before day. Maybe the sunshine this time drives his blues away.
Thank you. Is there any chance of something to drink? A, a chai. I'll take one of those chai teas that she was talking about. Absolutely. Yeah. When you got the chance. street song. Now, as far as I know, this old New Orleans street song has three verses to it, but I only do two. And I changed the two that I do, so they're not the originals anymore. Mmm, that looks good. Katie, do you want something? Katie, you want it? No, you're right. That's my Katie back there if she wants something, you know what I'm saying? So what I do is I do this song and I, I, I meld it, I blend it, I scar tissue it, if you will, onto another song that I wrote about Seattle, which is right over the water over there. Rainy old town, you know what I'm saying? You'll notice when that happens. Just flies until the travel is done. Green lucky road, promenade in green. Who do you love? Who do you love? Love the way that the rain sounds on the rooftop over my head like little animal feet. The way the clouds come down so low, they seem to prowl around the alleyways and get into the side streets. And all the world goes soft, yes it does. And the hard lines disappear. And the echo of the footsteps, well that's the music in your ear. 
And the sing-song river runs all along that little crack I've been all around the world, baby, and I keep coming back. Now the big boats come to the dock side, they tie off and unload, and they stay a little while. You got a bright light Saturday Liberty night, you got to do it ever right, you got to do it in style. Maybe hear a little music, kind of have this next dance. Maybe fall in love if I get half a chance. Somebody like you, yes indeed, imagine that. I've been all around the world, baby, and I keep coming back. Now the first time I rode the bus, it picked me up hitchhiking. Took me clear across town. I said, I ain't got no money. He said, that's all right, friend, just get on board. Lay your burden down. He said, where are you going? I said, I have no idea. This looks pretty good, though. I'll get off here. I'll pay you when I got it. How about that? I've been all around the world, baby, and I keep coming back. Now, the Fremont Bridge is the drawbridge. And I am one of the only two people that I'm aware of who rode that bridge. You can walk out in the middle of it, and when it starts to go up, you just step over into the side. You know, trying to make sure that nobody sees you. And you lean back in the girders, and it goes all the way up. Now I rode that Fremont Bridge so high one time I could have scratched old Mr. Moon right in the chin. I took a look at the water in the canal down below and I thought to myself, I'm gonna dive right in. But I'm too young to go that way, and I ain't ready yet. I don't mind falling that far, I just don't want to get that wet. It's a carnival of circumstance, you have to have a knack. I've been all around the world, baby, and I keep coming back.
That's nice. If I could face the day the way the sunlight does If I could rise with the morning mist And I would know the way that the water fish swims I could hold the lessons in my fist We are dying, say the elders And we don't even know this is only a temporary peace We're only waiting for the outcome to show And the endings to be released Behind the silence of a great stone wall the howling of a new wilderness Beyond the distance of a great stone wall It will change, it will change It wasn't always like this I've been to places where the clocks don't tick And they laugh at the hard straight line where history looks through a baby's eyes And the light of the future is a good sign Some laws are made of barbed wire And they lean to the privileged few But reality shoots from behind a blade of grass And its aim is true Behind the silence of a great stone wall The howling of a new wilderness Beyond the distance of a great stone wall it will change, it will change It wasn't always like this well, There's a warfare fought in the bloodstream now And truth is a thing to be praised The lie gets mean and it hides in the marrow And it's for the sticks to be raised and the dry rattle breath of the exit time Is a wake-up call to your ear But the feel of a fist at the end of your arm Is the answer to your tears Behind the silence of a great stone wall The howling of a new wilderness Beyond the distance of a great stone wall It will change, it will change It wasn't always like this Tell me that there's light at the end of the tunnel And sometimes I think I see Like the dissident glint in the eye of a needle Or the glitter of a soul set free 
There's a song that they sing in the worst of times To lift your spirit on the wings and fly Way on the other side of that storm cloud wall Dancing in the clear blue sky Behind the silence of the great storm wall The valley of a new wilderness Beyond the distance of a great storm wall It will change, it will change It wasn't always like this Wow, that's really good. That's like drinking ice cream. Do you all remember when um, Sinead O'Connor ripped the Pope's picture in half on Saturday Night Live? People, You remember that? Everybody remember that when that happened? Um, I wrote a song about it like, oh, two days later or something like that. It's like, wow, this is an amazing thing to do. I mean, some people pretend to have guts and some, some people actually do have guts. She took her entire career, laid it out on a chopping block, handed the world an axe, and said, have at it. This is what I have to say. She did that. A lot of people pretend to have guts. She had guts. And with all the stuff that's been going on these last few years about the church and about the fathers and about the whatever in the world they call themselves, I thought I should start doing this song again. So... Somebody had to do it. I guess it had to be you. Right there on the big TV, tearing a picture of the Pope in two. Shattering the overstuffed assumptions of our brains. Nothing like a little reality to go against the grain. Oh, some people got mad at you, but then what can you do? Someone's always complaining when you talk too true. Illuminate the violence of the miter and the rod, and they will tear you limb from limb in the name of God. Americans don't know anything about the great dead weight of living half smothered underneath some ancient potentate. Hiding to a foreign power, starving by degrees, all those women in bondage with no control of their sexualities. Dangerous times for speaking your mind. Oh, they booed you in New York City. You know, I can almost hear them holler. Where the cheapest of the cheap seats went for $80. Paying tribute to the great man, conscious of a bygone age. Politically correct nostalgia running roughshod on the stage. There were a million dollars worth of superstars waiting in the wings. But for all the myth of camaraderie, no one did a thing. To the annals of the safe and famous, some may drink a toast, but the one who took a chance is the one that I'll remember most. Dangerous times for speaking your mind.
So now I'll pantomime the daylight, and I'll travel by the moon. I'm waiting for the firestorm, I know it's coming soon. The dragon is awakening, its slumber is undone. Somebody had to do it, it could have been anyone. Dangerous time for speaking your mind. I went to see the guru, but the guru wouldn't see me. He was with his banker, they were counting up the money. He had a great big house, he had acres of land. He was so enlightened, well I could hardly stand it. He's a love family man, and he knows what side his love is buttered on. a great big mansion there was a hardwood floor all the women were barefoot I wonder what for there was a grand piano there was a big TD there was a picture of the guru looking down at me he was a love family man and he knows what side his love is buttered on the guru came out then and he said hello <laughs> he said he had a revelation I said, way to go. He said he had the answers. I said, I did too. He said, oh, no, you don't. I said, well, neither do you. He's a love family man, and he knows what side his love is buttered on. A little piece of rock came down one bright and shiny day. To land upon this earthly ground from many million miles away. And the people from the Institute, well, they took it in their stride. They said it came from the planet Mars and it's got life inside. And what I'd like to know is, what are you going to do now, Mr. God? Galileo was a scientist who made his matters worse when he said the Earth was not the center of the universe. <laughs> Oh, yes, it is, they said, and that's just where it's going to stay. And they arrested him for heresy, and they jailed him away. And what I'd like to know is, what are you going to do now, Mr. God? Darwin had a thought, he could not keep it to himself, that he was once a monkey, and so was everybody else. Well, when man is in the image, they said, and the image must be true. So if we were once a monkey, God was once a monkey, too. So what I'd like to know is, what are you going to do now, Mr. God? Way down in Arizona land in a sacred native place, they're building them a telescope for staring into space. And the church is there to bankroll, to help and not to hurt them. Should the aliens be heathens, they'd like to be the first to convert them. And what I'd like to know is, what are you going to do now, Mr. God? Well, in matters of reality, it's always touch and go. Some would like to dam it up, and some would let the waters flow. But it's a simple calculation when the final score is in. Between the rock and the water, the water always wins. So what I'd like to know is, what are you going to do now, Mr. Guy? Thank you. I'm going to take a little break in a minute or so. But first of all, I'm going to sing uh, another couple of songs. What was that? I heard that come from somewhere. Another couple of songs. Um, this first one is called I'd Rather Be Dancing, and it's the story, well, story. It's, it's, it's a song about Rachel Corey. Do you know who Rachel Corey was? 
Rachel Corey was an Evergreen student at Evergreen State College, College, and I think she was 23 years old when she was run over and killed by an Israeli Defense Forces bulldozer, a Caterpillar tractor made in America, right down there, probably right down there in Kent, they have a Caterpillar tractor factory. And she was a part of uh, the ISM, which is the International Solidarity Movement. They bear witness to human rights abuses, and they've been spending a lot of time in the occupied territories the last number of years because there's a lot of abuses going on. It's colonialism, you know, call it whatever you want, that's what it is, you know. And so they're, they're down there, those people are down there watching and trying to document things. And Rachel was standing in between the bulldozer and the house of a pharmacist, a Palestinian pharmacist, that the bulldozer was, was uh, uh, told to, ordered to knock down. She was standing in between, and she was, she, was, she was shouting through a bullhorn, and she was wearing a bright day-glow orange vest, the kind that they wear when they work on the roads. Okay, You couldn't miss her unless you wanted to. And the Caterpillar tractor ran her over and killed her. Her, her family is trying to take the state of Israel <laughs> to world court uh, on charges of human rights abuse, and I don't think they're getting too far on it, but they're, they're trying to do that. <laughs> I think they're also were trying to take Caterpillar Tractor to court. Because Caterpillar knows what happens to these bulldozers once they send them over. Anyway. Anyway, the, the story is, uh, the song is based on some of Rachel's letters that she sent home to her parents. And in one of them, she described the, the conditions of the people that she was living amongst and how it broke her heart to see this, to see people live like this. And she said, she actually said, she said, I would rather be dancing to Pat Benatar. I know. Um, but that's what she said. And she went on to say, but until I feel like I've made some difference in these people's lives, I'm going to have to keep doing this work. And I think that's admirable. So the song is called I'd Rather Be Dancing. You know I was always the one I could never stand idly by I watched while the bullies beat up on the weaker ones I had to do something to try And I never gave up on people That we could be better somehow Morality's compass you gave it to me And I still follow it now Well, I couldn't stop thinking about it I know I couldn't get it out of my mind The pictures, the stories, the plight Of the people in occupied Palestine And how my government makes me complicit With the political aid that they send So I packed in my bags and I headed to Rafa To work with the ISM And I'd rather be dancing Dancing and falling in love But if I can just watch from a distance Then what am I made of? Mama, these people are so good to me They treat me like a one of their own They feed me and see to my needs They let me sleep in their homes And Papa, their lives are so hard The gunshots every night Roadblocks, the strip searches, humiliations, Papa, it just isn't right. Well, I can feel my privilege. It's there in my American face. I could wave my passport around like a flag and I would be safe in this place. For these child soldiers of Israel, they look like the boys back home. And if it wasn't for American money, we'd have to leave these people alone. And I'd rather be dancing, dancing to Pat Benatar. Oh, but somebody has to do something about it, and here we are. Tractors are coming today. 
They're like tanks with bulldozer blades. The name on the side says Caterpillar, and that means they're American made. Well, I am American too, and I'll be where everybody can see. So if they want to run over those houses today, they're going to have to run. Well, it's dangerous taking a stand, but it's dangerous running away. And sometimes you have to face up to the danger. There is just no other way. For there are such beautiful dreams I have seen in the eyes of a child. And if I can just make one little difference, then I think my life is worthwhile. And I'd rather be dancing. Instead, I'm saying goodbye. But we'll meet again when it's over. Don't cry. And I'd rather be dancing. And surely we'd all rather be. And someday we'll dance in the world that's peaceful and free. Thank you. So I have a bunch of CDs here. I'm going to take a little break, not very long, a little short, little break. I don't even know what time it is. Anybody know what time it is? 9.30? Okay, I'm going to take a real short break because I'm going to do another set. And it's not going to be a long set, probably only like half an hour or 40 minutes or maybe an hour and a half or something. I'll play till I feel like, you know, I'll do another set. But I have a little break here. Sell some CDs. Sell some CDs is what I said. That's exactly what I said. And I have my little tip hat here to, you know, to supplement, you know, the, the little the stipend which I, and the CDs and all that sort of thing, and then I'll get back on. This song is on the CD. It's the second song on the CD, and I really like this song. I wrote it real fast. It's a story I've been telling for years. True, true story. <laughs> Absolute true. It's the sort of thing that makes the world lovable. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For those of you that might be watching out there in live stream video computer land, during the break here, go on to Google and look up Lightning Hopkins. Okay, look up some stories, look up some photographs, and see who I'm talking about. Lightning was a blues singer, born and raised in Centerville, Texas. Indeed, thank you. Thank you. That man didn't have to do that. And he wound up living in Houston because he loved people, and he had this little scene that he could live in amongst in Houston. He traveled all over the world. Lightning never finished grade school. And I'm not talking college, and I'm not talking high school. I'm talking grade school. He never finished grade school. He would do a command performance for the Queen of England, which he did. And then he would come back home, and he would set his little kitchen chair out there on the sidewalk, out near where he lived in Houston, and he'd sing for the neighbors. Because those are his important people that he carried with him in his heart when he traveled around the world, see. And that's what we have to do in the way that we do it. Lightning was the real deal. You know, he wasn't manufactured by somebody in a boardroom somewhere that said, I know what we need right now is we need a super group, you know. We'll call them, you know, the pencil shavings or something, and you'll go out there and you'll do all these rap movements and dances and stuff, and we'll tell everybody that you came from the street. Nonsense. They came from, you know, a PR room somewhere. Lightning came. He was the real deal. And I got to meet him in Seattle in 1972. Or 71, I'm not sure which, it's been a long time, in a club called the Fresh Air, which was up there at Pike and, and Broadway. If you go up there now, there's a club called Neighbors, or whatever it is called Neighbors. Uh, and that was the Fresh Air. Okay, I haven't been in, I think I went in there once just to look at it, you know, had to leave. But that was the Fresh Air right there. And that's where I met Lightning, and this is the story about what happened. <laughs> So don't forget to Google him now when I'm off during the break here, okay? No one can sing the blues like lightning hop. I don't care what anybody said. I was 15 years old riding by the passenger window with my radio up against my head. 
that's when I heard him for the first time. Cutting in through the noise of the car. And my whole world turned upside down. I just had to learn to sing and play guitar. So I got on my bicycle with the high-rise handlebars. And I would ride for 20 miles on a run. I got every one of his records I could find back then. Yes, I did. I had 11 of them by the time I was done. And I never learned to play the blues. I hope that's all right. I never learned to play the blues. But I could sing and I could play guitar all night. Now, years later, up in Seattle town, Lightning came through playing three nights in a row. I caught up with him early in the dressing room. Yes, I did. Somehow I just had to let him know. So I took out my guitar and I started playing. And I made him up a song to tell it right. About the radio, the car, and all of his records. And how glad I was to meet him that night. And I sang about what he taught me without even knowing it. And all the lessons I still had to learn And Lightning, he just grinned And when I was done, he told me a story in return And I never learned to play the blues I hope that's all right I never learned to play the blues I can sing and play guitar all night said he was walking around the backwoods down in Texas one time when he was only 12 years old. He was carrying his guitar, was almost as big as he was. He was tired, hungry, and cold. He saw some people were having a picnic. And he asked if he could sing for his meal. They turned him away, he said, because he was too raggedy. He could still remember how it made him feel. Then he looked off into the distance through his dark sunglasses And he grinned a little more just for chance He said, now I've got money in the bank back home And they know who I am in France And I never learned to play the blues I hope that's all right I never learned to play the blues But I can sing and play guitar all Lightning died back in 82. I can still remember where I was and how I heard. I was playing the meeting place in Dublin. Yes, I was. Local blues singer gave me the word. Now, some people, they pass right through you. And maybe they leave a little mark. Some people shine like a light for you sometimes. They help you find your way when it gets dark. Now, they say that this world is made of stories. From these stories our songs are grown Sometimes you know the songs just get so big You have to go out and make a song of your own And I never learned to play the blues I hope that's all right I never learned to play the blues But I can sing and play guitar all night Thank you. Take a short break, short break.
fire burn inside you long to love and be free all over the world a fire it burns and it won't stop till peace returns this is a fire this is a fire this is a fire
had to go far away. Hope I see her again someday. She is gone, who knows for how long. I never forget the time we have spent, my Maria. Malia On the run, a castaway until the day of what I need. When will it be? When just I see, when the will is justice. The lone man will pray And the people say Don't hide it, divide it Live and let live The wicked will fall When the will is justice Them is us, 
pieces in our hands. When the good rains finally came, we stood out in the cold. Watched the dry earth drink it up in a long, long slug. We opened up our senses to let it in. 
Felt so good to be that way again. And if you love the water, let it rain. Let it wash away your pain. There are reasons to explain. If you love the water, let it rain. A long time ago when the world was young. Innocent life beneath the summery sun. And desert flowers and wild plantain. Waiting for the weather to bring the rain. And if you love the water, let it rain. Let it wash away your pain. There are reasons to explain. Such a fleeting thing, you know it comes and it goes. It ebbs and it flows. The water falls and rainbows. the dryness in our hearts But life is a natural mystery they say So I guess we'll just let nature have its way And if you love the water let it rain Let it wash away your pain There are reasons to explain If you love the water let it rain Of the water, let it rain. Ghost bikes, ghost bikes, ghost bikes, ghost bikes, bicycles all over town, dangerous streets for run you down, memorialized among the stars. Ghost bikes, ghost bikes, bicycles, as free as a breeze. Well, what could be more humane than these? Like pedal birds, and that's what they are. Don't stand a chance against a car. Ghost. This country was built on petroleum wheels, factory whistles and business deals. You could be a trader to the bottom line. 
You know they don't even see it till it's too late sometime. Ghost bikes. Ghost bikes. Ghost bikes. Ghost bikes. Somebody got hit on a Saturday night. They took a bicycle and they painted it white. Now it's a ghost. Somebody that you almost knew Could have been you Ghost Bikes Ghost Bikes A long time ago Somebody invented a wheel And somebody else said Well this is gonna be a big deal Humanity I'm gonna have to decide whether to asphyxiate itself or go out for a ride. Ghost bikes. Ghost bikes. Ghost bikes. Ghost bikes. If you want to change the world, do it one step at a time. Get out of that dinosaur and leave it behind. Ghost So write a poem, sing a song, life goes on, so get back home. And write for everybody who has ever written before, and write some more. Ghost bikes, ghost bikes, ghost bikes, I thought I saw a ghost. Used to sit down in Victor Steinbrook Park 
with a piece of wood and a pocket knife. Carving little totem poles. Cause that was the work of your life. Your father was a carver before you. And your grandfather too. For seven generations, that's what the boys and the family would do. And there were fish that swam in the wooden waters, and birds that flew in the wooden sky. And they were stories for the people, and the stories didn't lie. Sometimes in the afternoon When all the wood chips were done Maybe somebody would have a little drink A little smoke And have a little fun And maybe you'd make fun of how the white people make trouble Seems like that's all they know how to do You had no idea how much trouble they could make for you. It was a beautiful August afternoon Oh, and didn't that sun feel good? Just a perfect kind of a day for a carver to go out and see what he can find in that piece of wood So there you were on that wall downtown Away in a reverie trouble and you were just what he wanted to see he put on his cruiser lights and he pulled over he said hey you come on over here but you were deaf in that one side weren't you so you couldn't hear He said it again, he started to get mad and all, all the adrenaline started to run. And you came forward with that knife in your hand, and he went for his gun. And all the world blew to pieces. And it's such a sad tale to tell. Like a wounded bird you swooned And like a dying bird you fell Talked about it on the news the next day. He said you had a problem with the drink. 
You said you'd been in trouble with the law before. They were telling people what to think. Police chief came on the TV. He said, we'll get to the bottom of this in time. We're investigating ourselves right now. We'll let you know what we find. So here I sit in Victor Steinbrook Park With the gray clouds overhead What kind of life you have to live Not to wind up this kind of day And I wonder how much money you have to make Or what must be the color of your skin Cause it sure looks like a private club to me That a lot of people just don't seem to be able to get in And I wonder how much more it's going to take before it all comes clear That there is no trouble coming No, the trouble is already here John Williams First Nations Fifty years old in the world of men Killed by Seattle police August 2010. Tuned up to it again. You're watching. Good. song about generosity between people. The generosity between people.